What is going on, everybody? This is Mr. ML Hats, PHC, coming at to you with another weekly podcast. Um, you know, I'll be honest, I already forgot what fucking number I put in. It's episode 62, 63. I don't really freaking know, so yeah, I can't keep count. Now, I'm just going to let you guys know, I'm tired, so if the energy levels are down, you guys know I don't fake nothing. If they're down, they're down. I got a couple beers. Uh, I started working back at the hat store today. <sighs> I'll be honest, guys. It was actually a real drag. It was kind of boring. It was slow. Uh, we actually hit the projection goals for the day, so, so that was good. But other than that, uh, it, it pretty much sucked. Let's see here. How Dandy9, how you doing? Takeaway 416, how do you do? So I want to talk about a couple things. You know this is our shorter podcast. I have three hats to show you guys, and then uh, – if that should take up our hour because what I'm going to talk about, I want to hand out. I don't. I don't know what to call it. He's not an official dislike dweeb of the week nominee, but because he actually helped me find something that he didn't know I was looking for, but he actually helped me find something. So uh, I'm just going to say dislike dweeb of the week nominee for a good reason. Random guy checking out the pricing on a cleaning product at the Red Store. So I'm, you know, doing my rounds. I just came out from the back, you know, heading up to the front, and I, hate, I kind of, I, I kind of hate doing that because as soon as I get out there, I know I'm going to get stopped by somebody who says, "Where are the lady clean wipes? Where are the condoms? Where are the pregnant?" I'm not showing you guys. That shit happens. By the way, the pregnancy tests are actually located next to the condoms. No joke. So just remember that when you go to Target, condoms, pregnancy, no joke. Feminine wipes as well are in the same vicinity. Anyway, so the guy comes out, or I come out. Guy doesn't even say please or bat an eye, and first thing out of his mouth is, uh, you have a pricer. Can you check the price out on this? I guess he, I could tell that, you know, something was different. I'm like, okay, sure, not a problem. He didn't say please. He didn't do nothing. But while I'm checking the price on his uh, cleaning product, right above him, Right where he grabbed, or he was actually grabbing what I needed, was the four cans of Lysol that I had been looking for for the past hour. So, this like dweeb of the week goes to the very helpful guy unintentionally helping me find my four cans of Lysol because I was looking for them. I knew they were there. I just didn't know where they would actually be at. So, yes. Should I even bother reading the the, the comments? Uh, condoms, what just tuned on? Hello, Hatter. Hey, Hat. I had my Giants hat on today, too. Rob S., it is good to know that your mommy is letting you stay up late in the basement to watch what is going on tonight. Thank you so much for coming by, Rob S. Uh, Sub J, uh, Sub Dan D, hello, grungy gentlemen. Yes, I wore this hat today. Sub hats, I'm here just for a few minutes, but I made it. Rob S., as long as you make it. You know, we're just going to go an hour, so not too bad. Uh, I have my aviator's hat on tonight. Yeah, and your shell gasoline vest. By the way, did you have your aviator's hat on? I saw your picture on Instagram. I don't remember it being aviators, was it? Anyways, uh, let's see here. So, anyways, the other thing, you guys, I have three hats, but I, I do want to talk about something. I, I don't, I'm not going to go too much into it, but I want to say that with everything going on, it is time to change the Washington football team's name officially you know we're not going to go into the deep issues what's going on but if they want to start fixing things up put it in the right direction that needs to be done i tell you guys i am never buying a washington football team until they change their name if the rock band or the country group lady a as they're going by for formerly known as lady antebellum can change their name after using their name for like 14 15 years uh, because of the actual meaning of it, and they didn't realize it meant what it meant, go do some uh, research on uh, CNN. Why can't the Washington football team change their name? I don't understand it. That name is garbage. I will never buy a Washington hat. If you guys send me a Washington hat, you guys are just wasting your money. I will rip it. I will destroy it. I will send it back. I, I'm never going to own a Washington hat. Now, you might be asking, so why do I have a Blackhawks hat and a Cleveland Indians? 
Uh, for me, the only thing I could say is that uh, there hasn't been as much controversy with those two emblems in sports, even though I know there has been uh, because, you know, the Indians are no longer using really Chief Wahoo. And uh, but at the same time, I don't wear those hats either, because after I found out, I decided I wasn't going to wear the hat. So yeah, I don't wear the Blackhawks hat, even though it actually uh, it actually is a nice uh, hat. Uh, but I also I don't wear the Cleveland Indians hat. And I hate to say it. I love the Chief Wahoo logo uh, for a number of years. I was one of those guys. You guys, I'm not afraid to change my mind. I'm not afraid to tell you guys that I was wrong. But I love the Chief Wahoo logo, and I thought it was great. But uh, I understand it, and uh, I just don't understand, with everything going on, why is nobody bringing up the Washington football name? There has been debate and debate and debate going on for years, and the scheme of the things has been Daniel Snyder does not want to be told what to do. So I don't understand how anybody could support that team. In my opinion, nobody should support the Washington team until they change their name, make things right with that situation because that is disgusting. Okay. Hey, Hats, I have – okay. Uh, I have my uh, – no, it was the Stark Industries. Dad hat. Yes, that's what it was. I remember seeing that one on you. Uh, had a Golden Knights hat at work today too. Call them the Washington team that sucks. I love you. Thank you, Cloud Fighter. I love you too. Uh, antebellum is just a time in history. It doesn't matter. It still was a time. Uh, HTTR, uh, changing your name during controversy is a weak move. It doesn't come from the uh, owners. It's peer pressure. Hatter, how do you know anything about changing your name? First of all, you couldn't even spell Professor Hatter. You spelled it wrong. Lindsay told you how to spell it. So would you call that peer pressure? I would because you could have told Lindsay – I spell Professor Hatter like that for a reason. I wanted to see how many people were actually looking at the spelling of my name. No, it is not a weak move. What are weak are the Chicago Cubs and the Chicago Blackhawks. Those are weak teams. Uh, Snowflake, that's it. Fuck, fucking hair. That's it. Hatter, you, you, you just do not understand it. For a guy that is going to go into the political field or attempting to go into political field. By the way, I kind of do feel bad that I missed all your other comments because apparently you got deleted out a shitload. Uh, you just don't seem to get the whole situation. And yet, last week, if I remember right, you made your screen black. But you don't understand what's going on with the Washington football team situation. And... You understand what's going on now? I, I'm having a hard time believing that. If you are saying that is okay and that is a weak move and that's because of peer pressure. That is an idiotic statement. And there goes my super chat for tonight. Uh, didn't fold like Indians ownership. Um, the Indians ownership, the, there's a huge difference, J38. The Indians, uh, Cleveland Indians name, the logo, the controversy. Obviously, you guys haven't done any of the research. Are not even close to what the Washington football team name means. Okay. If you knew what it meant. I cannot see how in good heartedness with everything going on, you would be okay with that name. And I was the same way. I was the same way. I had no problems with it. I didn't understand the debate or anything. And then I took my race and discrimination class. It had me open up my eyes to the situations or to things that I just never really thought. Now that I hear it like that. Okay. I'm starting to understand it. I tell you guys week in, week out. I'm not always right. I'm not always wrong. But I will tell you, I will listen to both sides of the situation or the story, and I will develop my idea, my concept, my thinking to what I feel is right. I already could tell that some people do not think that way, i.e. Professor Hatter. He doesn't think that way. It's either his way or no way. Because if you looked at both sides, and Hatter, I'm only using it as an example because I timed you out. If you looked at both situations, 
on why the Washington football team name is bad, right off the bat, you cannot find one good reason to have the Washington football team named the name they are. There's no way. You can't come up with one. Okay? District of Columbia for skins. Uh... I mean, you can't really sell merchandise being known as the DCFs. Had her timed out already. I think that's a new record for the fastest timeout. Rob S., actually, I don't think that was, honestly. I think that was a little bit behind. Uh, he's the Frank Dukes of timeouts. I used to think it was offensive. Now I don't. J38, you got – I'm sending you, man. I'm going to send you the freaking link, the articles, because if you think that it was offensive before and you're saying it's not now, I really want to know. And I want to interrupt you. I really want to know why you think that way. What has changed that from originally you thought it was bad to now it's not bad? What changed? Nothing. Nothing. If anything, you thought it was okay, and then you went and realized how bad it was. Sorry, I'm taking off my sock. I uh, just got off. Of the, okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Our, our fighting crime again can't sit, stay. I'm Batman. MTS, you are starting to pull a Dandy 9, staying for about 30 seconds, and then you get mad because I forget you. I'm kidding, Dandy 9. I love you, man. Hello, Batman. I take it for face value. It's a nickname. Okay. If I called you some sort of racist name as a nickname, would you be okay with that? That's virtually what the Washington football team is doing. And, yeah. So, just, you know, nothing to lose sleep over. Because you're not Native American. If you were Native American, you would not like it either, and you would lose sleep. We're in different perspectives when we're in different bodies. Uh, I'm Batman, yes. Okay, so anyways, that was kind of my heavy subject for today. We're going to move on. I really feel like uh, Washington needs to change their name. I, I, with everything going on, this is the perfect time for the NFL to finally make that change they need to make that change they have to make that change if anything is going to get done if things are going to get fixed we have to go in the right direction and that is one way okay so sorry about the hard subject i wanted to bring it up it is a sports related topic uh and i i didn't want to try to bring too much of what's going on because you guys know i try not to mix uh bring too much heaviness into this podcast because what's fun at the washington football team uh, i'm at bloody work again before before I leave, we we doing BBB this weekend. Not this weekend because I have to work at the Big Red Store. Uh, but I was thinking about doing it tomorrow. Stay tuned on the chat uh, if I decide to do it. Okay, so it's because I'm I, MTS man. Your boy's got a real job, man. I'm working forty hours at the Red Store. Had her super chats are not coming coming in constantly enough, especially since she's making me pay postage. To send you the hat that you and you and had her created for. Like, how did I get skimmed in all this shit? I haven't even got the bandana from Hatter. And apparently I lost people, but that's okay. So I have to work two jobs, 40 hours and 10 to 15 hours to make to do it. I'm just kidding. I don't mind sending it, but Hatter, come on, man. Send the damn bandana. Come on. Uh, see here. I can explain myself on BBB tomorrow. Okay. Going off that argument, you have Native Americans who are not offended by it, but you have Native Americans who are. So one group of people says yes. One group of people says no. So it's okay. I mean, if I said any racial tone words and one person said it was okay and one person said no, does it still make it right? It doesn't make it right. It doesn't. And you got to understand, the people that are actually being affected by it, they're the ones saying no. The ones that are not being affected by it, you know, because of the different tribes and the different upbringing per se, the ones that are not being affected by it as much, they're saying, ah, whatever. So you got to look at that two sides. Uh, going on, see here. I I'm free. I see you. Don't send the hat yet. I'm getting my... Hatter, you don't tell me when to send shit. I send shit when I send shit. I'm not like you. I don't freaking procrastinate and delay nine months to send stuff. I get sent, I get stuff to send. I send it out. Period. 
I will say, uh, okay, Hatter, we'll talk about it. I can hold it because J38 wants me to hold shit. And it's like, oh, man, come on. I want to get this shit out of the house. Anyways, well, we'll figure it out, Hatter. Don't worry, man. Let's see. I got you that bandana out of that deal, and you still haven't got it. Nope. Dang it, Hatter. Okay, I'm out. Appreciate you guys. He puts the bandana on a stray dog pipe. And I know, right? Like, I bet you he were to work nine times first, and it was all sweet. Now, MTS, I am going to say, what's up, Moke TV? How you doing, bud? I will say, unfortunately, uh, before we get to the next topic, I'm going to show you one of the hats. And uh, MTS, I hope you come back to watch this because it, it's a good one. Now, if you guys are not been paying attention, which I think a lot of you guys have been like listening to me complain, bitch, and you guys are so cool that I dropped viewers. Uh, you guys know that after all the situation went down, I had, uh, eight orders supposed to be coming in from lids that I had not gotten. No, 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 no. Hello, Moke. So with all this going down, they get the orders got shipped to the store, got shipped back. I had no clue where they were at. I didn't know what was going on until about two weeks ago. I got contacted by somebody in the blue store in the corporate office in the blue store. And I think it was Indianapolis or actually Washington, D.C. I'm not sure. They said, we'll send you to your package. This has been like a three month process, a couple days over three months to get some of these hats. And I feel really bad because most of the hats I got were actually my hats. Uh, I wanted, I'd rather have gotten the hats that are other people so I could send them out. And uh, I got my hats, but I mean, I'm working my best. Remember that, guys? Uh, is, I'm doing my best to figure out what's going on, okay? So remember that. Anyways, anyways, anyways. The first hat I'm going to show you was one of the 30 hats in the quarantine holding bin at the Blue Red facility in Indianapolis. And we have, bam, the 2021 Fresno Lowriders. And you're probably asking, Major League Hats, what do you mean 2021? Okay, so first of all, Fresno Lowriders are the Fresno Grizzlies, which is a AAA team of the Washington Nationals. If you are a ditz like Hatter, I completely understand that. That's why we love Hatter so much. This is not the same as last year's. I could see somebody who knows nothing about the hat. Uh, maybe that guy that wears pink a lot and speaks up the hype. But no, I don't mean Hatter, who's like falling in love with the pink hat, some other dude. Uh, I think he had like green eggs in him. Anyway. I could tell you about this hat. I don't need anybody else's help. Uh, anyways, this hat was part of that contest that I went to the uh, low rider car show last year that I did, uh, you know, the video that the Fresno Grizzlies invited me down to do a uh, special sponsored video. I met the creator of the original low rider, Dorian Castro, had a lot of fun, went to low rider show. Me and minor leagues went to the game and there we go. Anyways, the design that was supposed to go on this year's hat for the 2020 Copa, or as I, I'm saying, 2021 Copa, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. This was the car that had won the low rider competition. Now, I will tell you, ironically, or just funniness, uh, it's a little interesting why they chose the colors, the orange and the yellow. I know why they chose the colors, obviously, because it's obvious, because that's the color. But with the Washington Nationals being like a red or even a navy blue, I thought maybe they might mix some of that on the pinwheel. But this is seriously a sick-ass hat. The first year that they made a Copa hat, it was a purple-white one. That was really sick. I really want to see a uh, lowrider motorcycle. I just think that would be freaking awesome. And uh, I feel like these are going to probably just end up being the 2021 Copa hats uh, because with everything going on, they're they're not making no money. They're not running no promos or anything. Nobody's buying their merchandise or anything like that. So I just feel like they're just going to continue to use them for next year. And and that's if uh, there's even minor leagues next year. I mean, they're talking about uh, cutting down what sixty five teams or something. What was it, guys? Sixty five, sixty teams. And I want to tell you guys, I can't remember a hundred percent. I was thinking that Fresno was on the list. There was some weird thing that was going on with the Nationals that Fresno was leaving. Uh, the Nationals were going to be leaving Fresno, and uh, they were going to change one of their teams to a AAA, and they don't need, you know, they already have the uh, the 
not Pawtucket, uh, Fredericksburg Nats, and I think that was going to be their triple A. I could be wrong. I'm doing this all off the top of my head. Uh, so this is like kind of Hatter territory. Uh, so I am not sure what is going to go on with the Fresno Grizzlies slash Fresno Lowrider. So if you guys have not had a chance to get this hat, you are missing out because to me, this was a sick ass Golpa hat. And I, I, I know that they have not dropped off on lids or anything. Insider here telling you a little info. Uh, my blue store actually got about four or five of these in, and we got uh, overall 10 to 15 copas in. We didn't get full size sets yet. They haven't been placed on the floor or anything, but we have some of the copas in, and I was totally shocked. So, because I, I obviously, unless you know about minor league baseball, you're going to have a real hard time trying to understand basically what these hats mean. So I think this is going to want to be one of the popular ones. They also have the Le, 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 Le Rona, the two women. I feel like those are going to be popular ones. we got a couple of those. Like I said, didn't get a full-size run, but we did get about 10 or 15 Copa hats in. So let's take a look at the rest of it. So all orange on the black. Uh, I like the little – Fresno Low Riders. I mean, this more reminds me a lot when they used to be the San Francisco Giants Triple A team because you got that orange and black right there, yellow New Era flag, black underbrim. Uh, honestly, would have been better if it was yellow, but it is what it is. Of course, seven five eights made in our favorite place of Bangladesh, one hundred percent polyester. So, freaking excited! You guys wonder sometimes, like, why I don't trip when I get the hats or why it takes so long. I just don't. It's like they'll come when they come. I just you know, I feel like if I wait patiently, it means more. And I, I don't care that it took three months, three, you know, um, 13, 14 weeks. As long as I got it, that's all I really care about. Because to me, after seeing it, and, and I mean the same thing with the rest of the hats I got, it was worth the wait. Dan D9, she has never said it's too big. So I don't know what you're talking about. She will never say it's too big, Dan D9. Uh, we do love Hatter, green eggs and ham. <laughs> yes, 65 Rivera, green eggs and ham, ha. Uh, low rider, paletero cart. Oh, that would be actually sick. Oh, I like that idea. Uh, snatch up those MLB team hats that are folding. Yes, wasn't that hat purple? Thanks, Rob S. All over, boy. Last year's low rider was purple. Yeah, I thought so, Jay. Rob S., that is why you live in your mom's basement. You are never far from the truth. Um, too big. I meant the hat. Dandy nine. Is that what you tell your girlfriend that is too big? And then she's like, oh, no, I, I was talking about the burrito. No, no. You never use those terms from a guy, from a guy. Anyway, so I heard of, heard her screaming, I, it's a, a, a too big. No, you, 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 you will never hear those words come out of anybody's mouth during a certain uh exercise positions uh very cool hat of course it's cool hat hatter i have it okay hatter i'm still glad you're on because i'm gonna roast the shit out of here here you in just a second a lot of you guys know i love my Basement. Good. You should. You have a cool basement. Yeah. Was that a Super Mario voice? I don't know. I don't remember what Super Mario. Okay. So a lot of you guys know the MLB draft was yesterday. Very uh, unique draft. I think they went five rounds. Could have been six. And then after this fifth or sixth round, any player that was not drafted could get signed. Uh, I think it was $20,000. <clears> up to $20,000. There was no limit of how many guys you could sign for only $20,000. So if you are a team like the Cubs who are desperate, they could easily clean up. The Yankees could clean up. Anybody, if they really wanted to, could clean up. The, the problem with that aspect, though, is nobody really knows what's going on with the minor leagues. So it's like you don't want to get a whole lot of players that you don't know if you're going to have a minor league system to send them to. That's just the way I look at it. Yeah, you could be missing out on some uh, players, but do you really want, say, like, 50 guys, 100 guys, whatever it is, kind of sitting around, not counting the ones that you drafted in the first four, five, six rounds, sitting around, not playing, and you have these other guys you paid 
these other 50 to 100 players that you pay $20,000 for just sitting around because you don't know where your minor league system is it going to be at. That is just freaking asinine. So I don't know if there was a time period of when they had to see them. Here's the reason why we we going to roast Hatter in just a second. Oh, no, Hatter roast. Uh, I've been told my uh, hat collection is too big. You wish you heard those words. No draft hats, clearance section, uh, Cubs desperate. Now you're speaking the truth. Okay, if you guys are not aware, a gentleman named Spencer, I believe it is, uh, Torokson, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name. Local boy, actually, went to Casa Grande High School from Petaluma, California, 30 minutes right down the road, went number one in the MLB draft. And I am not going to sit here and pretend I am freaking Hatter. I know nothing about Spencer. Hatter, I got so freaking annoyed. You just regurgitated what the guys on ESPN said and the MLB network. I'm pretty sure you watched that as well. If you guys, uh, from what I understood, the draft was on ESPN. And normally in the past, it's been on the MLB network. Uh, I've watched it in the past. It's just uh, this year, uh, I wasn't feeling it with no college uh, World Series or anything like that. I uh, wasn't feeling it. You couldn't get to know the players a little bit as it is. You don't get no college baseball games. By the way, why are 97.65% of the people that are watching my podcast currently not hitting that like button? 97.6% of you people that are watching suck. I'm not afraid. Let's see. Hey, uh, what's up, Shane Omax7841? Hatter, you have dad hats and uh, strap backs. Those don't count. Uh, I don't think I have a strap back. I have a snap back. Is a strap back something you use when you're intimate with somebody, Rob S.? I really don't know. Uh, hey, Rob, Hatter, Buster, Oni, Jr., sub Shana, whoops, accidentally hit the like button, fixed it. Hey, <laughs> get you. So anyways, so the reason I'm bringing up Hatter mostly is because I'm going to be honest, I don't remember the kid's name. Very good, talented player. Uh, 18 years old, last name is Brown. And uh, the reason why I remember it is because if I remember right, they were the first there. He's from Chicago area. So he's a native of, Canadian of Chicago, if that's the right term or usage or word or whatever. But him and his teammates won the, uh, they were won the little league world series or they were the first all African American Jackie Robinson team to win the tournament. You guys have to correct me. Anyways, I'm only bringing that up because, yes, I had heard that statement before. And here is freaking Hatter only. I'm so excited for this. We'll call we'll call Colin Brown. That's his last name because I can't remember if it was Ed Brown or something like that. Nick Brown. I'm sorry, guys. Ed Howard. Shit. I apologize. Ed Howard. Okay, Howard. The Orioles got some good picks. You don't even know who the Orioles drafted, Shane O'Mac, 78-41. Oh, I'm sure had him. So, Ed Howard, uh, I'm sure it's going to be a good player. I believe he is a second baseman or shortstop, one or the others. And uh, here is Hatter only. Like, oh, I really love this pick. The Chicago Cubs did an awesome job getting Ed Howard from here locally. Yay! Woo-hoo! Bullshit, Hatter. You do not know who Ed Howard is. You're full of beep. So don't pretend like you know who he is. Okay, way to Google, way to you know, spend that 10 seconds and Google search that shit. I don't even know who Asa Lacey is, Asa Lacey. And that's the other thing. My, my buddy out of New York, my other buddy, he, he's like, he looks like a draft or something. That's his name, draft something. Anyways, I, I like the way he does like his potential first round picks. He puts a lot of uh, thought into it, a lot of uh, stats or whatever. He, he, he looks like he does his research. I, I like most of the stuff he does. Let's see. Uh, they drafted Heston. Yes, I do. Ginger, you all note. Good night. Wait, you didn't tell me who they drafted. Shane O'Max, seventy-eight forty-one. Oh my God, lost your. Super- I lost my super chat a while back. Hatter Rose got a lefty. Forgot his name. Doesn't even know Ryan Ron Howard. Who cares about the MLB draft? Most of these kids spend years in the minors and won't make an impact for years. So my buddy out in New York, you know the draft dude. Uh, does a really good job, honestly. You could you could follow his stuff. You could understand his point of views. But I really freaking hate it because, one, none of us has watched really any college ball. Uh, 
do we really see any high school ball? Come on. Is there a high school ball being aired on ESPN for baseball? Hell no. Okay. And he is going, by the way, you guys, you guys are clowns. I should just end this podcast right now that you guys are not hitting that like button. Maybe some of my people are correct. Why do I mess with my viewers? Yeah, it's too late to change now. Anyways, uh, I just hate it when uh, my draft buddy was like, uh, I really love this kid's arm. He's going to do a lot of great things. He could touch 100 easily. He could touch 90 easily. Um, I don't really like this kid's arm, the angle of his arm, the positioning of his arm. Uh, I think he's injury prone. He's had a lot of injuries in the past, so I don't know if he's going to be able to hold up. First of all, you don't know shit about any of these players, okay? Stop regurgitating everything that you learned from Buster Olney, who you don't even cite your sources. I'm pretty sure you have the description to look up subscription to look up all the draft notes because that is the only way you get any information. Uh he was a starting pitcher in college, but then he transitioned to a lights out closer. Oh, what? Did you look at the stats on his stat page on his college uh, stat line to figure that one out? Because you know you were not at the University of Minnesota watching any of these guys pitch or play. I just I just, I just, just hate that. The Spencer kid. I, I live here, Sonoma County, where he is from. And I'll be honest, guys, I am freaking excited that somebody here was drafted number one because that makes it two years in a row. That two kids out of Sonoma County, my area, were taken big in the MLB draft. It's just cool because a lot of kids that are playing baseball in this area, they will know that it is possible. We don't need Johnny Gomes to who doesn't ever show up. I don't even know. Johnny Gomes promotes Petaluma. <clears throat> know nothing about him. Joey Gomes, same thing. Uh, 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 the guy that used to play for the Arizona Cardinals, um, Scooby Wright, uh, I actually saw him – him here in Windsor. Uh, so that was cool. But this is a really cool aspect. Last year, it was a kid out of Maria Carrillo. He went in the top 10, I think maybe third or fourth, maybe to the Tigers or the White Sox. So that was really cool. And this year, for the Tigers to take the number one pick out of Casa Grande High School, that is freaking awesome. That kid, that gives the kids in this area a chance to know that, hey, I go out there and work hard and, and I do good. I do my best. I give 100% because there's no such thing as 110%. Whatever clown said, give 110%, that's impossible. You can't give more than 100 okay? I know we uh, some of us pass the math classes in college, unlike Hatter, but there's no such thing as more than 100%. I hate it. So it just gives – Ranger McGee, what's up, bro? Um, Heston Jerstad had her more dislikes. Well, at least I got people disliking my video. At least that means they're coming on the channel to dislike it. Hatter, what can you say about yours? Uh, hey, did you finally catch up on SmackDown and see my girl do her thing? Uh, you should get a uh, razy for your uh, – Hatter, learn how to spell. A bunch of Monday morning quarterbacks. I hit the like button. Thank you, Rob S., uh, see more dislikes. I like the like button. I hit the like button. Ranger McGee, thank you. I don't know what you're talking about. You should just speak in Spanish. What I give, 101%. If you want to give 101%, Rob S., move out of your mom's basement, man. Start living on your own. I don't think that's going to wear us. Rob S., if that really bothers you, let me know. I'll stop doing it. But if you're cool with it, I'm going to keep it rolling, man. You and your mom got a beautiful relationship that she allows you to live in her garage, in her basement. That's just freaking awesome. Um, why aren't you an Austin Matthews fan? He's from San Ramon. Uh, Austin Matthews is uh, – San Ramon is actually not really – it's a couple hours away, so it's not the same feeling. Uh, ha-ha, van life. So that's why I can't uh, bang up Austin Matthews, and I don't know who he is. That is like a – shoot, what is his name? I forget. He played for the San Jose Giants, and he was actually from San Jose. I mean, I could get a little – the reason why I get on like Tom Brady is because he's from uh, San Mateo or whatever. He's from this area, and that dude's just a mega superstar. So you got to like Tom Brady. Everybody else, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, it's close. 
hockey player. Oh, well, see, that's even worse because I didn't even know he played hockey. You got to tell me these things. Uh, Jimmy G is from my area. Yeah, if his name is Jimmy Graham, Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy G Garcia, shut your mouth, Hatter. Jimmy G, you don't even like Jimmy G. By the way, he's not here, but Manny Luna has met an NFL player, so we got to give him that props. Uh, let's see. He plays for the Maple Leafs. Okay, I'll have to look him up. Let's see here. Yeah, I do. My mom lets me buy all the hats I want. Or, or are you just jealous? I have such a bitching basement. I'm jealous about the bit the, the basement. I want my own basement. And I don't believe your mom lets you buy all the hats you want because the day we saw you, you're wearing a sweaty old Red Sox hat or hat with like a tank top shirt that looks like you need to wax your chest hairs a little bit because man, that baby was just growing out. Plus, you don't see uh, many American players drafted number one in the NHL very often, if they're even drafted. Okay, so anyways, want to talk a little bit about the draft. Uh, I didn't watch the draft. Uh, I, I didn't really have any excitement this year like I normally do because of everything's going on. I'm still watching my career in baseball a little bit. Talk a little bit about that in just a second. But I just couldn't back up the draft. I, I couldn't really care less. And some of the players, from what I heard or saw, they weren't even getting a hat to put on, like if they were drafted by the Chicago Cubs. Not that anybody wants to go play in Chicago anyways. Uh, they weren't given a Chicago Cubs hat. It's like, I mean, come, come on, why not? The NFL players, don't they get – when they get drafted, they have the hats. Like when they did it this year, didn't they have the hats? I mean – yeah, I guess the MLB draft is unpredictable, but I I, I mean, come on. They, they got to do something. Those, those players got to have a hat and a jersey in a locker somewhere. And as soon as they're picked, somebody's responsible. They can send a representative. I don't know. Something's got to be done. All right, guys. Here we go, guys. I have to look this one up before we get to the final hat because I do not want to say it wrong because it is just cool. The next hat. Is another one of those quarantine hats. This you can call two of thirty. I really don't know how many hats were in quarantine. I know I got about twenty of them yesterday. Uh, I'm suspecting I have about ten more to go, maybe even fifteen, uh, because uh, yeah, I can think of uh, four already. I can think of about five or six already. I got I got ten in my head. So yes, uh, see my. Uh, he lived in Arlington Heights. Congratulations. Way to do use that Wikipedia there, Hatter. God, Hatter, we know you use Wikipedia, so stop it. Plus, you don't see, okay, uh, perfect opportunity for new era to make MLB draft hats. I just grabbed that hat because it was on the base, <laughs> on the basement with my lower level hats. I got some hat heat. Poco. Okay. Corona beer draft hats. I'm a wiki beer. <laughs> All right, guys. The next hat I'm going to show you is we got, bam, the Yaka Mamas, the Asheville, also known as the Asheville Taurus. This is their 2021. No shit. Uh, I live next to Arlington Heights. Stop being a D to me, uh, to me, 110% of the time. You know what? Now you're getting too emotional. You're no fun. You're a timeout. Hatter, we always give you crud for using Wikipedia. So I'm not being a D. If I was being a D, would I send you shit? No. So I like you. So stop it. Now, you, now, you, now you're just getting your feelings hurt way too easy. Okay, chill. All right. So we got the uh, Asheville Taurus here. This is our 2021 Copa hat. 2020 Copa hat. Um, this one, I believe Hat Club did do a release as as well so a lot of people picked it up from hat club because in march none of these were dropped like they were supposed to on lids i think a new era dropped a bunch of them and they were sold out quick i don't want to say a bunch but it was like 10 or 15 wasn't very many a skit from conan o'brien i missed out on that on the two for 30 by the way j38 did you use my hat club link so i get a small commission for picking up that two for 39 thing i heard you guys all talking about missing out on the drops but nobody was mentioning if they were using my hat club link so i get my small commission oh no hatter timeout number two at the copa copa cabana so this one uh for the Asheville tourist it is um i really love the colors 
I want to say I could be wrong. I want to say that is a piranha, but they call it the Yaku Mamas, and I'm not sure. At least I know what the name of the thing is, you know, unlike some people. Do you know who the San Bernardino Cucuis are and that it was a Mexican folklore children's story growing up for the kids? No, I didn't look all this up. I already knew who the San Bernardinos and I know what a Cucuy is. And if you don't be good, the Cucuy is going to come and get you. That was what's on your dang hat, green eggs and ham. So anyway, so I really love the color. Uh, I don't know where this is going to rank into uh, next year's ranking or this year's ranking. I have to see how many I get. It. Um, I might just do the ranking out of all the new ones because you know my positioning on um, the same design like the uh, the Los Chanclas, the Albuquerque Isotops kind of did the same thing as well. You guys know I don't generally rate them very high, uh, but yet if you guys hadn't seen that review, uh, the Albuquerque Isotops won two years in a row and they did absolutely nothing they didn't deserve to win two years in a row maybe one not two but uh, this one could get a very good ra rating uh it'll probably be in the top 20 don't quote me now i have to see because there are some sick ass golf baths but this is a really nice one let me know what you guys think of this one i really like the colors you got that light uh, I guess it's a light green right there, some orange. Love that white, gr light green right there on this new air flag. So it represents the uh, outlining right there. And you have that light green on the buttons right there, on the eyelids, the button as well. Orange brim. They should have went with orange underneath, especially with that all the under brim stuff being the fad right now. You know, so here you go. So this is another good one. My head's freaking sweaty as heck. All right, guys, this one is a little tight for a seven and five eighths. I have no hair, so it shouldn't feel tight. It is made in our favorite place of Bangladesh, 100% polyester. So this is, what do you guys think of this one? This is a really good one. I feel like a lot of you guys might like the uh, this one over the Fresno Lowriders a little bit more just because Fresno had the car version last year. And if I remember right, the Asheville Taurus did not participate. But for my, I pull a hatter. Uh, the actual Taurus did not participate in last year's uh, Copa. And I was telling you guys that is kind of the advantage for a team that if they hadn't participated in the previous years of the Copa, they're going to have a huge leg up on the competition for the best design. Let's see here. Uh, I can't use the link always sold out. Not on your two for 39 thing. Uh, if you use Hat's link, he gets a small commission. Come on, Jay. You know this. Hello, Jeff. Hey, Dan. I feel like... I, uh, I feel Buster. I might get a time hatter. I can't even read that. Um, that was the Mariachis. Yes. I like how the uh, cops do the alternate color eyelets. The cops? The cops have different color. Okay. I guess we're we talking about the cops. I guess. Okay. Uh, likes the ranking you did. Very cool. You should rank some other hats like MLB or NFL or maybe even your awesome collection of soccer hats. Uh, if I was ranking football straight up, last hat, worst hat in the whole collection, Washington football team, garbage, 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 never buy it. That one fits better. Your head is big as heck. Asheville is better than Fresno. I kind of fear that. So he needs to bend that brim, Jay. No, I don't. You know, what does your mom say when you bend all your brims when you're having them laying around in the basement? Does your mom go like, uh, Rob, sweetie? Why did you ruin another gray hat? Now it's all distorted. I can't wear it. Ah, uh, he rocks them flat. <laughs> I'm going to get so much in trouble tonight. Anyways, guys, so uh, I'm going to talk about Korean baseball real quick, and we are going to get on to the last hat. This is going to be the title of the podcast. I'm going to be changing the podcast. I'm going to take the hat off because my head is sweaty as heck. Uh, where are the prunes? <laughs> ben the Brit Hatter. No comment. I don't know. Anyways, guys. Uh, oh, my God. So I'm watching. I don't even remember what game it was. I want to say. No, I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it was the team with Despagna on it and Casey Kelly. Uh, that's all I remember. Anyways, the game was tied up 5-5 five to five after the other team being down the whole time. Yes, this is great analysis because I don't even remember their team name. But the dude hits a fly ball to right center. Both outfielders are converging on the ball. They both stop. These guys in the Korean League, I'm sorry. 
But I can't even imagine these guys being at a 4A level. These guys are like double A level. Yes, some of them, granted, are very good players. But <sighs> these guys, the way they go back on routes for the ball in the outfield and left field, center, the routes they take are just ridiculous. Now, in some cases, I do know that uh, some of the teams, for whatever reason, and they end up sending their first baseman out and putting them in left field. And I, I'm not really sure. I guess emergency plan. Uh, but these guys do not seem – the normal outfielders do not seem how to take a route. And if I remember right, the reason why the one player was in there in right field was he was a defensive replacement. I believe it was from Mel Rojas Jr. So you're telling me Mel Rojas Jr. would have not caught that ball yeah and the other thing i want to pick up a little bit uh it looks like my thumbs downs are going uh thumbs ups are going down thanks a lot hatter jerk uh he likes them flat uh hatter curves i i i, I like them curvy uh rob, rob s does your mom appreciate you using that bad language uh hates curves i like them curvy yes sir uh that's what you get for korean baseball equals trash triple a is better than these bumps I won't call them bums because they are still considered elite athletes for Korea. Just the way it is. But the other situation is the bullpen situation for Korea is just terrible. If you could get past the starting pitcher in a Korean game, like they usually go five, six, seven innings sometimes, and you get into that bullpen and you're down by nine runs. There was one game, and we unfortunately I didn't get to watch it because it wasn't the game being aired. Down nine runs and the ninth inning, and the other team came back from nine runs and won the freaking game. How does that happen? That is so ridiculous. So the uh, relief pitching sucks, and another part is the catching situation. Man, there's this one guy. He's supposed to be like top-notch catcher, and they said something about him being posted next year or something. He, excuse me. He's represented by Boris. The famous, uh, you guys know who he is, agent, super agent. If that's the best catcher in Korean baseball, holy shit. And I don't understand. Can somebody explain this to me? Like, if the pitching coach is the one that comes out and constantly talks to the pitcher and makes the pitching changes. In fact, the pitching coach actually brings the baseball, which I found kind of interesting as well. What does the coach do? I feel like the emphasis put is put more on the pitching coach than the actual coach. Like, yeah, Matt Williams, I, I forget. I think it's the K KT Wines or something like that. Matt Williams is over there coaching. You barely see the dude. You, you only see him when he's like. <sighs> yes, that's how often you see him when he's sleeping. Let's see here. Uh, Cookie Rojas would have caught that ball. Sandcastle would have caught that ball. <laughs> Where are they playing the Bad News Bears? <laughs> yeah, it seemed like it. What do they have, Hatter, coming out of the bullpen in Korea? Crap, crap, mega crap. Does upskirts on the cheerleaders. Does upskirts on the cheerleaders. That's kind of the only reason I, I keep watching the game because cheerleaders in Korea, I will have to say, are freaking fine as hell. Let's talk about SmackDown. We don't have time for tonight, Rob S., because this is only an hour podcast for SmackDown. Plus, we'll run away the seven viewers that we have watching already. Let's see. Bartman would have caught that ball. Hatter, you just scored a get out of timeout free card. That was perfect. See, I'm not that bad. Hatter, I'm going to put this hat clip pin because, uh, Last time when I ordered some hats from Hat Club, they didn't send me any pins. So I called up Hat Club and I said, hey, you guys didn't send me any pins. So on my last order, they sent me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pins. So Hatter, I got one Hat Club with your name on it for a free get out of timeout jail card. Yes. Good job, Hatter. Good freaking job. Let's see. Cheers, Sasha and Bailey. Rob S. Rob S. Rob S. Okay. Now that we uh, took care of Rob S., uh, I freaking can't believe Charlotte. Wait, 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 wait. What? 
Wait, what? Wait. Yes, someone else got deleted. No, he was supposed to be in timeout. How did he get in there? Rob S. is using like multiples. Here we go. Okay, Rob S. Okay, last hat, Rob S. I hope you don't take off. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> last hat, guys. And I, I and I can't. I, I I'll be honest, guys. I did absolutely no research. Uh, I can't re remember what the significance of this hat is because it's not my typical kind of hat. You guys know that uh, I am close to trying to get one hat from every major league, uh, minor league team, and I'm currently two away. And uh, I'm trying to work on one. Uh, Princeton uh, uh, Devil Rays or Princeton Rays are going to be hard to get. I, I think I might have somebody that can be able to pick it up for me if he's going over there in the next month. We'll see. I try to call over there. Try to. Anyways, anyways. With that being said, since this is not my typical kind of hat, uh, I just know the version, the name of it. I don't know really what it stands for, but I've been trying to get hats that are a little bit out of the sports realm, if that makes sense. Do I really need 30 Cubs hats? No, but I need 40 Giants hats, but I don't really need 30 Cubs hats. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So the hat that I picked up and... I don't even know if this is actually available. You guys are going to have to help me on this one, okay? This may not even be available till tomorrow. I don't remember, okay? I don't know, okay? All I do is see the hat. I buy the hat. There you go. I can't believe it's not a C. No, you need 42 Cubs hats like me. Hatter, you're up to 42. You haven't been keeping us updated on your Cubs count. Uh, I still beat you in Giants. I think. I think I have to check. So you're up to 42. I'll have to check. Okay. So, anyways, you guys, I got bam the hat club exclusive tiki month. Tiki, 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 tiki. What is, what does the tiki dance do? I, I don't really freaking know. But we got the tiki man. I saw this logo and I'm like, this thing is sick. And then on top of it, check out the Hawaiian floral. Under brim, this is freaking awesome. Uh, Hatter, I have my Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I can figure it out, I just don't care. I'm not trying to beat everybody. And then on the back, they have I believe this was a collaboration. You guys are gonna have to help me on, but this is just sick. You got a black new era flag right there, so it blends in nicely. Black eyeless, black button. But man, look at this. Now, I didn't get this because of the floral under brim, uh, if anything. That is what sold me because actually I like the uh, Tiki Man little logo right there. It's actually a pretty cool one. Now, this is a 7 and 5 8 100% polyester and made in our favorite place of China. So I don't know what is going on. I've got a couple Bangladesh hats I've showed you and a China, and it's feeling kind of tight. Now, this one, if anything, you might want to flip up the brim like that a little bit so it could be shown up when people are kind of looking at you. But check that out. I don't know, guys. Uh, am I the only one who got the Tiki Man? I felt like if you would have used my hat club link, so I get a small commission, you should have picked up the Tiki Man. I feel like it was a very good hat. Uh, I, I don't know what the situation is. You'll have to help me out. Don't think that has dropped. Uh, that one fits better. You still live? Heck yeah. MTS, we are live for about another seven minutes because I usually do an hour. Uh, but remember also MTS to hit that thumbs up. And I showed two hats already before this one. So this is the third one. And I'm going to uh, name the video to see if anybody wants to watch the video about the Tiki Man. But I'll name the video after this one. But this one, like I said, this is just freaking awesome. And like I said, if you had a chance to get this using my hat club link so I get that small commission, um, I think you should go ahead and do it. I, I, I understand, guys, that it's, it's frustrating right now with, with Hat Club and uh, the hat bots. Everything like that. All I can do, you guys, is all, all I can do, guys, is just kind of keep asking you guys to uh, please help support the channel. Use that link. I know Hatter doesn't really give a shit because he barely uses my link, and I'm sure when he uses my link, he'll return the product anyway. So uh, I know he uses it sometimes, but you guys, please use that link. Um, you know, it's there for a reason. It's helped to grow the YouTube channel. And also, guys, last little thing here, unless we got some more. Uh, when do uh, Hat Club pre-orders? Again, I'll use your link. I barely buy from Hat Club. That is not true. You try to buy from Hat Club like eight times in the last two months, Hatter. Um, I'll be watching the replay. What's up, future MTS? <laughs> um, 
that's funny. They did uh, today's release. They had a anchor hat of some sort. The anchor hat was actually kind of a cool hat. I it sold out really quickly. I could have got it, but I chose not to. Uh, really, it was kind of basic per se, and it just really didn't interest me. Uh, anyways, reason I bring that up, the anchors was cool. Well, congratulations, Hatter. Did you try to order it? No, you didn't. But uh, so since it sold out hell quick. Uh, they have started a pre-order for the next couple of days to get the uh, anchor hat. So if you are going to get the anchor hat, please use my link. Um, I've had to change my whole opinion about pre-orders and everything like that. You guys know that uh, the clinkers.com has a bunch of pre-orders. They got a great bunch of great designs. I got a confirmation that one of the hats that I pre-ordered is not going <laughs> to Rob S, welcome back, but welcome back. I did get confirmation from the clink room that one of the hats I pre-ordered was not going to get done, and they actually returned all my money, uh, plus the fees, taxes, and on top of it, they gave me a $5 credit towards their next hat. They do have some more uh, hats coming out here pretty soon, some more designs. Uh, so I just told them, you know, they said they could send me back all my money or keep my money, and I get a $5 credit. Trust me. I'm gonna be ordering from you guys again. Uh, just keep my keep my money. Give me that extra five bucks, right? So, go check them out. Uh, see here, uh, they got that on pre-order. Thank you, Hatter. You're apparently not even watching this video. I like basic, but not that anchor. Uh, I'd want to get it for the Navy. What Navy connection, Hatter? You're not. Oh, your grandpa. Sorry, my bad. Uh, peasant pre-order. Uh, Noble North Drop was dope, but. Now they're like Cat Club gone in 60 seconds. Look like a protractor. Uh, you put me in timeout. You dislike Dweeb. You started talking about Bailey and Sasha, and I told you we cannot talk about Bailey and Sasha till tomorrow. It's not my fault. You don't listen. That's what your mommy told me. That's why you were living in the basement, because you don't listen to your mama. You don't listen to your dada. You don't listen to Uncle Reggie. You got to listen with Rob S. It's the only way to get through life. Listen. Uh, anchors oh, oh, away. Is that even how you spell it? A way? W-E-I-G. That looks a little wrong, Hatter. Uh, weigh the anchor. 10 pounds. Rob S. Got a timeout. Wow. All right. Any other things going on for the next uh, three minutes? Uh, let's see here. Ha uh, lids, honestly, guys, the, the store was hella boring tonight. Uh, no, they did, like I said, they got some Copas in, but they haven't put them out. No full-size run or anything. Other than that, they have no new uh, inventory. I'm hoping that they get some tomorrow. Uh, when, by the time I go in, it's hard to say. Only about 25% of the mall was open. Uh, it, it was just really dead. And, yeah, so if you wanted a hat from March, you can go and get it now because it is still there. Uh, they only have one entrance to the mall. And, uh, yeah, it just wasn't fun. It was just boring as heck. Let's see here. Uh, I don't have an Uncle Reggie. I have an Uncle Vinny. <sighs> Rob S., I think I'm going to save the time out for next time. No Jackie Robinson's hats. Dandy 9. I sent you a picture. There was one. Yankees. By the way, Rob S., uh, Dandy 9 said he went to a local lids and they had absolutely nothing. Let's uh, see. Everybody use hats link so he gets that small commission. Hell, yeah. Okay, you just saved yourself your timeout. Uh, let's see here. I go back no, tomorrow. I I'm not timing out Rob S. He already has it bad. He lives in his mom's basement. I can't time out Rob S. Sorry. I'm just trying to stick up for you, Rob S. Uh, team mom's here. She's been having a couple classes of wine. She wanted me to time you out, but I, I can't. You've already had it bad living in your mom's basement. And she walks away. Let's see here. At my list. Sorry, I'm late. Had to make some errands. Well, we're about to go. Hello, everyone. Yankees suck. Let's see here. I don't know. So tune in tomorrow. Uh, let's do 7.30, early at 7.30. I'm hopefully going to try to get off again. What's up, Johnny G? Hopefully I'm going to try to get off again. I got off a half hour early today, so hopefully I get off a half hour early tomorrow. We'll do the stream yard. Uh, I'll probably have just one hat or so to show you guys. Uh, I'm building the soccer collection, so make sure that if you want to get the behind the scenes, you want to get the advanced videos, hit up my Patreon. I want to thank Dan D9 again for hitting up my Patreon, J38, hitting up the Patreon. Uh, let's see here, Johnny G, uh, Reds fan, MTS, uh, Hatter also is on Patreon. 
uh, uh, Manny, uh, some, some of you guys do other stuff. You don't necessarily are on Patreon, but, uh, Dandy nine, dude. Thank you so much, dude. Seriously. Thank you so much. Um, but anyways, let me know guys, if you guys need to send me shit so I can send other directions, let me know, hit me up because I got stuff that I want to get out. I want to get it out of here. Uh, I just, it's time to go. Three months is way too freaking long to be holding on to this shit. It needs to go. Okay. So hit me up if you need my assistance. I know Hatter's too good to send me whatever he's sending MTS, and he'll just fork it out of his own money, that $25 shipping fee to Canada. Stop being a fucking baby, Hatter. Send me the shit so I can send it and save you some money. Shit. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. You guys know this is the normal podcast, so it's just an hour. I will see everybody tomorrow. StreamYard, be ready. Uh, Rob S., tell your mommy. I said hi. Good night. And tell her you love her. You can never tell your loved ones enough that you love them. All right. Good night, everybody. I will see you. And MTS, watch the replay so you can catch up on the other two hats. Thank you, Johnny G. If you get a chance, watch the replay so you can catch up on the other hats. This was the third hat today on today's video. See everybody next time. Later, guys. Major League Hats out. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah! Mr. ML Hats, PHC out. Major League Hats out. Later, guys.